So when I was preparing for this video, I was thinking about how season one left the this, this show Sleepy Hollow. And season one ended with, with Ichabod in a coffin underground and Abby in purgatory. The show has done so much since then. Hello once again watchers of Good TV. my name is Nick Pell and this is once again coming from my college dorm room. Now today I'm going to be talking about season 2 of Sleepy Hollow. As you would probably assume, there will be spoilers from season 1 of Sleepy Hollow in this review. So if you are not caught up through season 1, or I guess at this point through season 2, that would be the best. Probably don't watch this until you're caught up. I suppose, unless you don't care about spoilers. I will also be touching on the season finale in this video, towards more the end of the video per se, so I'll give you the general thoughts first and then I'll touch on the, the season finale. So starting off, Tom Meissen and Nicole Bahari, they continue to have fantastic chemistry as Ichabod Crane and Abigail Mills. They are the two witnesses of the show, they're the two fighters against evil and darkness and Moloch and all that stuff. And they just work really, really well as a team. Their chemistry is fantastic, and I still enjoy seeing both of them on the show. Kathy Winter is also on the show as Katrina Crane. She is a witch who was stuck in purgatory for the entirety of season one. Now she's back in 2014-15. And so she's, she's in the show. She just doesn't have as much of a presence in this season as I might have liked, and this is one of the gripes that I have with the show, is that they have Katrina, who's this supposedly all-powerful witch, and they don't really use her that much. She's there for kind of explanations and stuff, but for the most part, she she doesn't really do a lot, which is kind of disappointing. I would have liked to see her become a much larger part of the team at this point, because she has so much that she could potentially add, and we don't really get to see her full extent of the powers that she has until the season finale. So, it's just kind of disappointing. John Noble is also on the show as Henry Parrish slash Jeremy Crane. If you saw season one, obviously you know that he is Ichabod Crane's son, and Katrina's son, and he is also the, four, the Horseman of War, and that is kind of touch on more towards the first half of season two. Season two is split into two different sections. We have the first half, which kind of concludes the whole Moloch issue, and then we have the second half, which kind of deals with what are they going to do after that. So John Noble does have a very big part in the first half of this season, and a very small part towards the second half. Orlando Jones is back once again. He is uh, or Captain Irving, and he is kind of at his lowest-ish point now because he's a servant to Henry and trying to get his soul back, and so that's what a lot of the season revolves around for him. And Lindy Greenwood, she kind of is just there at times. She doesn't really do a whole lot. She doesn't really have any big character arcs that I can remember. And she, she does fine in the role. She's just not as important of a character as some of the other people. One thing that the show does do quite well over and over is its special effects. A lot of the creatures and the magic and everything that's used in the show is really, really cool to see. And it's really well done. Kind of like Constantine in that regard. It all looks really neat. All the demons and monsters and everything look really, neat, really cool. And that's something that the show has always done really, really well. One issue that the show does have is that it's first and second half of season two. They, the episodes tend to be kind of slow, and they don't really seem to be building towards something. They do build towards something in the mid-season finale. I'm going to kind of spoil it now. With um, Moloch and Henry kind of building up forces to allow for Moloch's rising, which obviously does not happen. Really quick on the mid-season finale, I thought that it was really, really well done. I liked uh, Irving's fight with Henry's Horseman of War and seeing him take down the Horseman of War. I thought that was really, really cool. I also liked seeing Henry kind of just do the 180 and take down Moloch for seemingly an unknown reason at the time. And uh, so I thought that was a really neat way to it. It ends just on a very big cliffhanger for season for that mid-season finale, which I liked. And then season two, um, again, if you're not fed up, spoilers incoming. Season two kind of deals with the fallout of that. We see what's happening with Ichabod, Abby, Katrina, everyone, after the events of the mid-season finale, when the big threat, Moloch, is no longer an issue, no longer a presence, and just seeing what they're going to have to fight next. And for the most part, season two, it's enjoyable to watch, don't get me wrong. I, I liked watching it every week, it was enjoyable, it was fun, but the stories didn't really ever seem to connect or have one 
uh, reason for them all to be a thing. And so that was kind of disappointing. There wasn't really any big enemy that they were going after, per se, like it was with Moloch. So that being said, I'm going to kind of dive into the last parts of Season 2 right now. As a whole, I did enjoy Season 2, if you're going to stop watching here, I did enjoy it. It was very enjoyable. I would like to see a third season. I don't know if it will get one, because ratings are kind of bad right now, but if it does get one, I'll definitely watch it, and you'll get a Season 3 review at some point. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to talk about Season 2 kind of finale stuff right now. One thing that the show did really, really well and really, really cool, like, is make Katrina a villain. And this was kind of hinted at in uh, one of the, the last episodes of the season when we have, like, the evil witch hunter guy. Uh, he kind of brings out this evil presence in Katrina. That has a really interesting role for the character to take on, kind of pushed a little bit more towards that by Henry. It did seem kind of like a sudden change of heart because Katrina was a huge ally to Ichabod and Abby for a long period of time. She even spied on the Horsemen of Death and uh, Henry for them for a long time. And just the sudden shift of allegiance just seemed a little bit strange to me. Uh, I liked it because it actually gave her something to do and she made for a decent villain. I like seeing like this, this newfound rage and power that she now had which kind of emphasized, oh hey, I'm, an, I'm a witch, I can do things. <laughs> so we got to kind of see that unleashed and it almost seemed like she was supposed to be a villain all along. It seemed like the writers never really found a way to really use Katrina. They got her out of purgatory and then there wasn't really a reason for it because we had our team set from season one. There wasn't really a spot for it in season two, so they just kind of fumbled her around as necessary. But Katrina being evil leads into the season finale, which could possibly be the series finale too. If it's a series finale, it does a phenomenal job as a series finale, I thought. We get to see Abby go back in time, time travel. She goes back to Ichabod's time, which is really kind of interesting to see. We have to see her kind of do the convincing to Ichabod instead of uh, in the pilot where Ichabod had to convince Abby. And it was just kind of humorous to see. There's a lot of callbacks to the pilot episode as well. They point out where Starbucks would be uh, in this old time town. I really like seeing those types of things. And uh, yeah, I thought it was I thought it was a good episode. I was very surprised that Franklin got killed because that was very not expected, honestly, for me. I also liked the way that the episode ended with Katrina's death. I thought it was fine. I thought it was it, it kind of seemed like it needed to happen. I th I think if Katrina had gotten away, she would have just kind of been this looming presence, which would have kind of struck every so often and, and then ran away again. And I I liked having her just she's done. Her and Henry, unless they decide to bring her back for some reason, they seem both to be done, dead, deceased, gone wherever they're going to go. And so if season three does come back, it will be a very different type of show because we will have Ichabod probably in mourning or changed person to some degree because he has lost both his son and his wife now. And he will probably be a very different person. I also see them kind of building on the whole Ichabod Addy potential relationship thing. I don't know if that's anything that they're planning. I feel like it could be coming now that Katrina's out of the way. I don't know. But as a whole, I thought that season two of Sleepy Hollow was very, very cool, very well done. It was kind of slow at parts. It didn't really seem to be leading anywhere, but it's mid-season finale, and it's finale where we're probably two of the coolest episodes of the season, and yeah, I enjoyed watching it. And I hope that gets a season three renewal. If it doesn't, I think that the season two finale makes for a brilliant series finale. Uh, those are my thoughts. Leave yours down in the comments down below for Sleepy Hollow season two. Did you like it as much as I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Let me know. Like, for a comment, and subscribe. Once again, if you so choose, I appreciate it immensely. And as always, my people, my name is Nick Pell. And once again, keep on watching.